Welcome back to my channel. So, ow. I'm a, I'm a bit tired. I came home from work. I want to lay down on uh, on the couch. And then I saw a big box, which is over here. I saw a big box in the middle of my living room. And I was like, who would send me a big package like that? But upon a closer inspection, it was. This company, we all know this logo, is Rurok. So, so I got this Rurok helmet so I can customize it like I did with my next XD1, as you can see. I want to do the same with the, with the Rurok. But first, let, let's unbox this and see what we got. Because we got a lot more stuff than I, than I originally anticipated. So the first thing that I can see here is this thing. Which is, I think, a sports bag or a helmet bag. I think it's a helmet bag, but I'll probably use it when I go to the gym. I put my weight, the weightlifting belt and water bottle and, and stuff in it. But this is awesome. I didn't even, I didn't even know they had this. But they sent me it. That's cool. The second thing here, which already popped out, is a Rurok snapback. Oh. It's a snapback, and I'm a big fan of snapbacks, so I, I I very appreciate that they sent me this. Thank you. And let's see, there's a smaller box. Yeah, and inside the smaller box, inside the smaller box, there's an even smaller box. I think it has the helmet in it. Something else. This is the, the shock wave. They gave me a shock wave. Okay. One second. Very cool pack. The shock wave. Hmm. Because I was originally planning to use my my Carter Pack Talk on the Atlas. And they gave me a shock wave, so if the Atlas is going to be my primary helmet, then I I want to build in my my cardio factor inside of that helmet, so I have this extra, I guess. And there's another reason why I want to use the, the cardio factor and not the shockwave, which I will talk about once once I un unbox the helmet. But so cool that they gave me a shockwave. I never asked for a shockwave. I never expected them to give me a shockwave, but they they did. And then. Multiple visors. This is a clear visor. Not 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 interesting. And then we have. Ooh. Okay, see, it? this one looks cool. I'm gonna put this one on the helmet once we unbox it. Now we have the big helmet sock with the Rurok logo on it. Look at this. Look at this. Let's peel this off. So we have the black visor, a white visor, and they gave me this one extra, which I'm going to put in in a second. We have the chain curtain as you can see, so I hope that this will cut up most of the wind because a lot of people tell, a lot of people say on the internet that there is a wind noise issue with these helmets, but we'll, we'll, we'll try out and see I guess. Now what I, the reason why I want to use the pack top is that the shockwave goes into here. So when you, when you pull this off, you have like a hole here where, where this unit slides in like that or like that so you have a hole this big inside of your helmet and what I want to use that for is a battery pack inside of the helmet I can run out some wires and charge my camera while vlogging 
charge my uh, backdrop while vlogging. So you get you get a pocket inside of your helmet, which is awesome. So why wouldn't I use that? I think it will be a little bit more useful than than a shockwave. Um, but another thing, though, what I'm thinking about is if I have a passenger, I can't put the shockwave on this one if this is going to be my secondary helmet. So I'm going to I'm still going to figure things out what I'm going to do with the communication system. But most chance is that the pack up will be in this one, and I will use the like the, the the hole here in the back of the helmet to put a small battery pack in. Now talking about the camera. I'm not sure where I'm going to position the camera because I feel that th on this home it's a little bit too far to the side, which would be around here. I think I'm going to put it more here on the lower cheekbone here, but I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm, I'm going to experiment with like camera angles, camera positions, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's try out the Atlas. Let's see how it looks. Uh, I'm going to put this one on already to see how that one looks because. We all know how the black visor looks. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So this is how the Atlas Core looks. So this may be not my new face, of course with a little with a different design uh, on it. I, I have I have a couple of designs that I'm already working on. And I gotta say man, it feels like it feels much smaller. And whereas Whereas my neck, although I've removed the peak, it's still a bigger helmet. But the difference that I can already feel is that this felt as if it was just a helmet on top of my head. And the Atlas feels as if it more envelops my head, like it, it hugs my head because like the, the neck portion here is also smaller because I got a lot of wind noise from my neck through here so when I rode like this it was pretty quiet but when I rode like this it was very windy very noisy but that also can be because my head shape is, does not fit the next XD1 shape that perfectly but we'll see how this helmet will uh, work out so yeah so this is uh, this is what I got I want to thank Jure de Groot from Ruag Netherlands because he was the one that supported me and he was the he, he's the reason that I that I could get this helmet. I think he's the reason that I got all this extras because come on this this is awesome that I just got it. And I like the snapback a lot as well. I'm a big fan of snapbacks. I'm gonna record the process of customizing this but I'm not sure if it's going to be at the end of this video or it's going to be a new video altogether. You probably know it because you can just look at the timeline. But at this point, I don't know it. So if it's going to continue, then I'll cut right here. And if it's not going to continue, then I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.